Hello students, welcome back to online class. So students, take out your English reader book. Today we will start a new chapter that is chapter number 6, Painting the Bridge. So students, take out page number 37 of English reader book. So the story is written by Subhadra Sen Gupta. Okay, now she was born in New Delhi and she, she writes a children's book okay she learns she also writes a travel stories then and ghost stories and she also won quite a raven award at the bologna children's book fair she is also the recipient of sahitya academy's bal sahitya puraskar okay why for her contribution to india's literature in english so about the author children so let us go through the story painting the breeze now do you know what is the meaning of painting painting means to paint and breeze means what a wind flowing isn't it there then that means painting the wind flowing now Parvati hummed as, as she worked. It was the first time in days that she felt like singing. Mm -hmm. So this story, children, is a set in is a set in the reign of King Ashoka, okay, of the Mauryan Empire. Now, who is King Ashoka? He was the king of the Mauryan Empire. Now, the national emblem of India has been taken from the lion capital which was erected by King Ashoka. The wheel or chakra at the center of our national flag is also a part of the lion capital. This is, this is all about the King Ashoka. So this is then this, uh, this uh, story is a set of the Mauryan Empire. Okay. Now, so Parvati, she is a small girl. She, while she was working, she hummed. Hummed means created only with, with lips closed. Like, mm, 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 like this, she is humming. Okay. Hummed means created orally with lips closed. Okay. So she was humming while she was working. Okay. So it was the first time that she felt like humming. For Parvati and her older brother Lakshman, the last few days had not been easy. Their father lay ill, his body burning with fever. Even the herbs their mother had given him had not helped. Now Parvati had also the older brother. Now their father was laying ill and having fever. Okay. Now their mother has also given the herbs to the father, but he was, but he had not recovered. The grain had finished and and so he was the only sole earner of the family. The grain had finished and there was no money left either. Their father was a potter and not a rich man. The only thing Lakshman could do was to make and sell earthen pots and pan pans. He had worked with his father since he was a child, but he had never worked alone. So because of their uh, because of their food scarcity, they began to work as their father was lying ill. Okay. And their father was a potter and he was not a rich man. And uh, this uh, the Lakshman, Lakshman also worked with his father and helped him in uh, pottery making. Okay, but he had never, this Lakshman had never worked alone. Clear, he, all, he always worked with his father. Brother and sister had walked out of the gates of Pataliputra at dawn when the oil lamps in the niches of the tall wooden gates were dying and the watchmen were dozing over their spears. Walking to the banks of the Ganga, they had collected the clay. Then nervously, they had shaped them into water pots and cooking bowls, lamps, vases and plates. Many broke, some were out of shape, a few cracked when fired in the kiln. But enough were left to sell and yesterday they had brought rice and dal with their own earnings. So uh, as, their father were lay, were, uh, as their father was laying ill, so they decided to work this Lakshman and Parvati. So in the, at the time of dawn, that is before sunrise, okay. So they went out of Pataliputra in search of mud, in search of clay to make pots, okay. Dawn means before early morning. 
so at and that time it was near it because it the time was before sunrise so at that time what happened when they were passing through the wooden gates still they can see the lamps like a small little bit bit glittering lamp, lamps okay and the watchmen they were they were dozing dozing means a light sleep so they had collected clay and they were very nervous because they had because they were not that professional in making pots however they had made many pots and they also broke into pieces but still they left over okay so they decided to sell the the leftover pots which were uh, in uh, which were good enough to sell so they decided to sell them and earn money with they also brought rice and dal with their own earnings so they earned money by selling those pots today their father did not have any fever and there was food in the kitchen so parvati sang as she worked and that is why she was very happy and that day what happened her father got well and that day that day he did not have any fever and his father was their father was also very happy even the father did not work they still had the food on the table why because of parvati and Lakshman, they worked hard and they sell and they sold their pots. She and that is why she was very happy and she was humming by herself while she was working. This was the only reason uh, that she hummed while she was working. Okay, nobody had asked her to paint the pots, but she knew that painted pots sold better. All she had were the colors black and white that she had made herself. She had collected the soot from the lamps in the house, added oil and created black. She had ground some pieces of lime, which when mixed with water made white. Her brushes were twisted of her brushes were twist of cotton, and with them she drew her dreams on the water pots and vases. So so. She decided to give some design to the pots, plates, and vases. So she she knew that the painted painted pots sold better. Okay, now, but she did. But as they were poor, they did not have enough colors. So she decided to give only black and white color. And this black and white color only. What she did? She she collected the soot. What is the meaning of soot? Soot means black particles. Okay, produced by oil. Suppose if we okay, do you know dia dia. Okay, if we put there mustard oil and if we then while putting the mustard oil, if we keep that in fire, then it it becomes black color, isn't it? So that black color is called the soot. So she collected the soot and that soot she mixed up with. oil and by that only she made the black color and what about the white color do you know lime so she what happens she put water on the lime that is white in color and by that only she made a brush of cotton like was dipping and giving color to the pots vases and plates the everyone drew squares triangles straight and wavy lines parvati dipping the cotton into the white thought i don't want to draw just any lines So, where so when she was drawing, she decided she she decided not to draw any triangles, lines, or squares. Okay, she decided to paint something different so that her pots will will be sold very soon. She looked up at the sky and the clouds, cotton wool white after the rains. She drew a row of them around a pot, curved and floating like the smiles of the sky. So she looked at the sky, and when what she got the idea after looking at the sky, the clouds. So she decided to draw to paint clouds in the pot. So and by that she had drawn the clouds in the pot. Pulling a plate closer, Parvati was startled. Startled means surprised by a red and black butterfly as it flew across her face and then fluttered. Fluttered means flap quickly. So startled means surprised and fluttered means uh, flap quickly down to a perch on a yellow pumpkin flower on the hedge. Parvati drew the tip tilted, uh, tip tilted, curved tip turned upwards, curved the wings of the butterfly like a border around the plate. So, uh, so when she was painting, she could see a butterfly that had then black butterfly. It was flapping very quickly. Okay, and. Uh, and she, and she was perching on the yellow flower of the pumpkin okay uh, in the 
hedges hedges means bushes now she after seeing that now she got uh, now she, now she got a design to what to draw she also in the same way uh, she had drawn a butterfly in the pumpkin flower uh, on the plates the clatter of horse hoofs the clang of cowbells and the creak of a bullock cart made parvati look up down the small dusty lane a bullock cart came sw uh, swaying what made her sit up and watch was the rich cloth covering the cart the bright curtains and the six horsemen riding behind it so while they were selling pots they could hear some noise okay like clang of the cow bells they the cow used to have one bell or not so when the cow is moving the bell used to ring the clang that means clang of the cow bells she could hear and she could also see some horsemen and then with a bullock cart okay but that bullock cart was not an ordinary bullock cart it was very well designed with fine clothes the lady i am sure thought parvati she had seen a few drive by on the roads of the pataliputra but she had never seen a Car cart followed by six horsemen. By then, Lakshman had come to stand beside her. So when she was looking at those, uh, at that cart, she could see that it was not an ordinary cart as she had seen before. She, this is some extraordinary because it is very much decorated with all followed with horsemen, cows. Okay, when Lakshman saw. She, he also stood behind his sister. Look at the horsemen! He exclaimed in exclaimed in admiration. He said, "Yes, Parvati, look at the horsemen. The horsemen were really a magnificent sight. Magnificent means elegant. So the horsemen were also elegant in look. Okay. So their short spears glittered in the sun. The saddle cloth on the horses were made of colorful cotton." Across their chest, over the slimmed, sleeved tunic, were the cross straps of the uh, to carry the quiver of arrows. The broad leather belt was for the sword, and their headbands were tied across their foreheads with jaunty bows. Now, what is jaunty bows? Jaunty bows means stylish knots. Okay. In the, this paragraph, says about the clothes they are wearing. The they are this horsemen. Okay. Now. They had a short spear. Spear means like they used in uh, during the war. Okay, and they had the and the and these horses. They also had saddle cloth. Saddle cloth means where the horsemen used to ride uh, ride the horse. So that that way they used to sit. That cloth is uh, made of cotton. Okay, and in the chest they were wearing what cross straps carrying. arrows okay carrying arrows and they also had their belt connected with the sword sword means talwar soldiers lakshman guest then suddenly running back to the house he called her parvati come here parvati reluctant to miss the spectacle asked what then lakshman singh the side he drahid he called parvati okay then she also doesn't want to meet the scene so she went to see the horseman and the cart help me carry some of the pots outside said lakshman so now lakshman said yes you take some uh, yes please help me to carry some pots now we have to present the pots to them they laid a row of pottery by the side of the lane and waited ex expectantly for the cavalcade to closer so what happened by seeing the cart they decided to uh, to uh, to arrange the pottery so that when the cart comes closer they can see the pot and they decide to buy the pot when the bullock cart was within hearing hearing distance lakshman began to shout pottery oh noble lady come and see our pottery so when the bullock cart was reaching near so he shouted yes oh, pottery oh noble lady and come and see our pottery so he was calling them to see his pots uh, so students in the next class we shall continue the rest of the portion okay till then thank you